I'm Tim Patton. I'm the owner and brewmaster of St. Benjamin Brewing Company, a Nanan brewery that I hope to open in Kensington in early 2013. I would say the most daunting thing for the brewery has been finding a suitable location. The city does have a lot of warehouse space, which mostly is, is suitable for brewery, but a lot of them need a ton of work, and that, that can get pretty expensive. All the brewing equipment and the, and the kegging and whatnot will take place in this area. Towards the front of the building is a center blocked in area about 800 square feet. That's going to be a pub with a small kitchen, seat about maybe 30, 35 people. And then the second two floors of the building, I, I intend to remain vacant for a few years, but since I'm starting as an Annan brewery, that's not the long-term plan. It's really not feasible to stay that way forever. So when I expand and get um, large equipment, put me more in the microbrewery size, that will go up on the second floor. And the third floor, depending on how the neighborhood changes um, with, with like population and popularity of the bar and whatnot, I mean, that could be an event space, that could be a larger restaurant, or even if things were to change in the future with the laws and with, you know, see how neighborhood zoning went, I mean, that could even possibly be a craft distillery. This part of Lower Kensington was my ideal location for a couple of reasons. I mean, one, there is a strong industrial and brewing past, and this building was owned by a brewery. It was the carriage house and stables for the Theo Finkenauer Lager Beer Company. The other thing is I like the changes I see in this neighborhood. It's a really amazing mix where it seems like three or four different ethnic groups, socioeconomic groups, everyone just seems to be coming together here and starting really interesting businesses. And it's a neighborhood with a lot of room to grow, unlike, uh, say, Fishtown or Port Richmond, which, you know, only turn over residents. Here there's a ton of vacant land and a lot of large open spaces so I see the population greatly increasing and it's really great to be in early and be part of that the changes that I see happening here. I think one of the things that I really want to do is definitely make people realize that Kensington isn't nearly as scary as they keep hearing on the news.